Many Suncoast kids dream of becoming professional athletes, and that takes talent, time, and some good luck along the way. And all of that came together for basketball player Maurice Spates. After 10 years in the NBA, he's now coming home to Florida to play basketball for his dream team, the Orlando Magic, and he's here to tell us all about it. All right, welcome, Maurice. Welcome. Thanks for having me up here, man. <laughs> well, you guys have, you have quite a story coming from the College National Championship to the NBA. Tell us about it. It's just, just when, you, when you're able to win a championship on the college and the NBA level, it's just, you really just think about the grind you got to get to the position you are. And to ch the NBA championship is way more better than the college one because all the sacrifice you got to make for your family, for everything to get there. It's really a dream come true. Where did you wow. play college yeah, I was gonna say, basketball? Walk us through it a little yeah. bit for yeah. those who don't know the story from high school to Gators to yeah, the NBA. From? Yeah, I'm from St. Petersburg, Florida, so I went to Gibbs High School for three years, then went to Alma Farragut for my fourth year, then I went to prep school for my fifth year. Then went to the University of Florida. Gators. Stayed there for two years. And right, what happened okay, while you were I'm there? A seminar. I'll let it go. Yeah, we'll let it go because guess what <laughs> happened while he was there? What years were the Gators doing their thing with you? We won basketball back to back and one football that's wow. amazing three years. Amazing. what I think yeah. you know what I think about um, athletes is everybody sees on television the highlight of the winning and the fun of the the actual game but nobody sees what's happening behind the scenes and how hard you guys really work, work and I think it's there. important for kids to learn that that there's hours and hours and hours of sacrifice that you make in your sport and when you play in sports and especially professionally it's really just for maybe 50% basketball. Yeah. Everything else is the business and the grind and the, uh, staying safe and just being, wow. being able to work on your, yourself and being a better person. So sure. that's all it's really about. Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And tell us what, about the greatest professional thrill you've had during this journey. Winning the championship. Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah. of course. And uh, I can say, yeah, winning the championship and is making it to the uh, NBA. And you were with Golden State when yeah. you won the championship. Yeah. Uh, I did a little reading and understand <laughs> that your three points shot in general yeah. came to life during that time in your career. So how does it work that you played for several years and then all of a sudden you became a playmaker? Describe that. Well, it just really the coaches gave me confidence to shoot it and just pin a lot of work in during the summer and just getting confidence in it. It's not really about I could never shoot it. It's just really about having confidence to do it in the game. Mm -hmm. So, coach gave me the confidence to do it. And I was like, I'm a shooter, or you, I'm a shooter. I ain't gonna worry about it if I make it and miss it. Yeah. Oh, wow. There you go. That's a good coach. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is. That's you know that changes everything when you have the confidence to yeah. actually make those plays. All right. So, is it special coming back to Florida? Yeah, real special. I can't, I can't really explain the feeling of it. Your family's all here still. Yep, St. Petersburg. So oh, wow. they'll be at your games then. Mm -hmm. That's pretty incredible. Aw, that's what ten years in the making to get back home. That's yeah. not a lot of people get the opportunity to do that yeah. at all. And you're involved in a couple new projects in St. Pete. Tell us about those. Yeah, I got a restaurant called Rush Hour Chicken and Waffles. Oh. It's just, uh, <laughs> a lot of people from Sarasota, matter of fact, comes over there to the restaurant. So it's a good restaurant. Uh, it's been open for two months. It's a lounge, and I got another place called Craft. That's uh, going to be opening like next month. It's a coffee place. Talk to okay, us about giving yeah. back. I mean, you're obviously putting some time into the community. Uh, what do you want to do to kind of thank St. Pete for their support and getting you where you no, like, to? Last year, I donated to every rec center in St. Pete. Wow. Oh, nice. That's the stuff I do. And every year, I do a backpack, a backpack giveaway for school. And then during the holidays, my, um, my parents, my friends, they like give toys away and all that kind yeah. of stuff when I'm not here. But now I'm going to be close to yeah. Here, so I could be able to come to all those things. So, and why is that important to do? Because you know, if you think about it, when you were younger, did you have anyone that kind of helped inspire you the same way you're trying to inspire other kids? No, when I was younger, my well, I'm from all the bad things is good things for the neighborhood I'm from. Like, gotcha. you only see professional people. You only you only see people with nice, dope cars and right. grills in their mouth. So, right. Where I'm from, you 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 look up to people who are doing bad. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In real life, but doing good for the, the hood. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm able to, when I come to do stuff like this, is I want to touch one or two people. And that, that's a success for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah, that is. That's a great yeah. thing. All right, well, we'll be, we'll be watching the magic so we can see you. Yes. Yeah. Hopefully, Absolutely. you can give them some yes. magic because they've needed it for the last couple <laughs> <of> years. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs>
<laughs> well, Beth says they need you. That's what she's yeah. saying. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Maurice. And then we're going to learn more about an award-winning Siesta Key Rum. We'll be right back.